next step for Jason his concept vehicle, horsepower. So I've hooked up with Matt from Just Autos. Now, the reason why is because I've heard he's got a reputation in the industry of making things get horsepower. We specialise in diesel performance. Um, it's probably what we're best known for. We are a mechanical shop, so we still do a lot of other things, um, but that's probably the main thing that we uh, tend to do nowadays. So the whole thing with the 79, it's, it's, it's a V8 diesel. It's, it's reliable. I want to take it to a whole new level. I want to increase its torque. Simple as that. When you're towing, you're out in the bush and you want a touring vehicle, you want torque. Just want to keep it reliable, and but I want truckloads of horsepower. Yeah, we'll put it on the dyno and uh, we'll see what it does and then we'll go through some packages and go from there. Sweet. Going on the dyno. And once you put it on the dyno, you, you just realise that there's not a lot of horsepower in this V8. It's like you've got this big thumping V8 under the bonnet and it's basically detuned and not doing much at all. All right, so we just did the standard run. It made 136.9 yep. um, horsepower at the wheels. Um, this is pretty standard sort of power for this model of car. Um, so everything looks above board. Um, so I thought while we're here, we'll have a bit of a play and uh, just give you a little bit more um, for the meantime. And uh, we'll see how it ends up just with the car the way it is standard. So this, pro this program we're talking about, this what you're going to do now yep. is yours, isn't it? This is what you've developed yourself personally. Uh, that's right. So yeah. um, we write the software that's in there. We're going to tailor it to suit the car. Yep. Um, I'll start with a base file that I've created over a few weeks. Um, yep. I'll start with that and then what I'll do, I'll, I'll adjust that to suit this model of car um, and go from there. So Awesome. He gets in there and he puts his tune into the ECU and it went from like 130 or something, straight up to 170 horsepower, just like that. And we haven't even started yet. You've got here, you've got package one, right? Yep. And that's that's not even close, well, that's sort of very close to what we've just done. Yeah, we sort of need to go a little bit harder, so yep. I think we step straight into package four. Boom, straight, straight to four. four. Yep. You've got 210% gains here. Yep, overstock, yep, that's exactly right, so. Right. So exhaust, yeah, like, you know, exhaust, that's a, that's a given. So straight away, option four, you've got to change things. You've got to get that little, well, let's call it a little pissy turbo that Toyota's got. Throw that one away and we get this big kick-ass turbo. There is a lot of other uh, modifications. We're going to put a front mount intercooler on it, um, you know, exhaust to suit, especially with that exhaust housing. Yep. Um, so uh, an intake pipe for that turbo as well. And it's all about airflow. It's all about air and fuel. Um, so we're looking around, you know, percentage-wise from standard, you can get upwards of, you know, 200% gains over that standard torque that we're, we're talking about. Um, as far as horsepower goes, every car is slightly different depending on tyre size and so forth, but uh, we're looking from around that 280 to 300 horsepower for this actual kit. Um, the end of the day, we don't focus on the overall number. We try and make the car as a percentage base over the torque range, um, you know, a, a good increase, so it's a, a very drivable thing for the customer. All right, well, I'll leave the truck with you at the moment and yep. um, we'll uh, Come back. see how she goes. That's it, too easy. <laughs> awesome. awesome. It's exciting to see the reaction of the customer. Um, I know what he's going to be getting, so you know I already have that excitement there. Um, but uh, for the fact that when the customer gets the car and they, they realise the power that they have, and you know, it's, it's a good feeling, and that's where we get our satisfaction. So yeah, it's, it's something we are looking forward to, that's for sure. I have 100% confident that Matt is going to look after this truck and, and give it the horsepower and the care and attention that a 79 deserves. Look, realistically, the 79 is one tough truck. It's going to be out of control by the time it's finished. Can Matt and Jace achieve the power they want, or will it be all talk? Get it?